Of the 150,000 men from Birmingham who would answer the call to arms during the First World War, over 12,000 of them would perish on the battlefields of Germany and further afield. Many more thousands would return home injured and scarred and have life-changing memories. Every November we get together as a nation and we repeat, at the going down of the sun and in the morning we shall remember them. And then we make a promise to ensure that those sacrifices will not be forgotten. Well, those words seem to be getting emptier and emptier for many people in the UK. The country and the values that these men died for no longer exist and have been dismantled day by day. In Birmingham, only 45% of the population are white British, and there are rumours that there are ghettoised areas and no-go zones where the indigenous people cannot venture to. Now, like every major city in the world, organised crime is rife here, and some of the estates in Birmingham are some of the most dangerous and violent in the country. Well, today, we're going to venture to some of them estates and we're going to find out for ourselves if there really are no-go zones for the indigenous people. Welcome to Birmingham. Right, we're going to walk into the city now. We're going to walk through the city centre and we're going to get the train and we're going to go to our first estate. Uh, well, our first area of the city called Alum Rock. Now, if you check out Alum Rock or if you Google it, all the headlines are about crime, they're about shootings and stabbings and armed robberies and drugs busts. But there's also a high street down there which I want to venture to. So, without further ado, let's get into it. two-minute journey literally but uh, as I was getting off the bloke that was sat opposite me he just whispered to me just be careful around there I told him where I was going he said yeah just keep your head down be careful so <laughs> uh, I know it's only early in the day so hopefully there's not many people about causing trouble but it did put me a, a little bit of the shits into me anyway let's go see what it's like So it's already a very big difference to my hometown in the northeast. It's not Union Jacks and England flags flying here, but the Palestine flag there. Um, and I would say almost everyone that I've walked past since I got off the train has been of South Asian origin. Okay, so I've just arrived in the high street and I'll be straight up, it doesn't feel dangerous at all. But it also doesn't feel British or English. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but it's like a completely different country compared to my hometown. I've never seen a place like this in England, never. You have these signs for giving us a cut. You have national flags, there's Egyptian flags and Palestinian flags all over the place. I barely heard anyone speaking English. Hello, mate. All right, yeah. mate. What's it like living around here? It's all right. Yeah. yeah? It'd be hard, like you know. <laughs> it, it don't feel very English, does it? No, it don't very no. no. It's, uh, uh, people get on with each other amongst yeah, in the area. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah they're, they're plenty of people. They are. They're good people. But, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What areas of this place would you say are the places with the reputation the most I feel road up the top there you know when you get to the top of here yeah you've got like this big corner bit Dixie's and all around there yeah. sweet I'll have a look you, you, you've got to be careful everywhere you go though mate it, yeah it, it's like you know um, I, got, I must admit I got warned on the train as soon as I said I was coming here people were like yeah, yeah, yeah be careful oh, yeah yeah I got stabbed it I got stabbed over it I was only been, I'd only been, <laughs> I'd only been over here a couple of weeks 
Yeah. Nice warm welcome. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> stabbed wow. in the leg. Bro. I just ended up stabbing you in the leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two of them tried robbing me. I was going through the subway. Yeah. And, like he came up to me, right? Uh, I bit the one. He's hit the deck. The other one that I've started with him, innit, bro? Yeah. Like, the other one that's on the floor, man. He's come along, sniping me, man. Jabbed me in the leg now, innit? Oh. Yeah. I think it's about me then. Terrible, man. Nice one, mate. I didn't get your name. What's your name? Lester. Lester? Yeah, Lester. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm sure you're that happy, man. Stay safe, though. Take time while I'm here, my brother. All right? Yeah, I'm... If you're not known, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Good, I'm hoping people will speak to me, but I just don't know how likely it is. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're quite friendly people. They are, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's finding the right one, like you say, to speak That's to you. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, in a bit, mate. See you later on. Man, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Take time, my dog. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, no. Plus, you from, you from around here? Yeah, yeah, why? Mate, I want to know. I'm making a video on life in uh, in Birmingham. I want to know what it's like in Allen Rock. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you from around here? Yeah. So this must be the pigeon corner that that guy told me about. We've got the pigeons on the roof and all over the floor here outside of Dixie's. And as you can just see on this junction, we've got, what, I think South Africa flag? Is this Egypt? Palestine? I am yet to see a Union Jack or a St. George's Cross. It really, really doesn't feel very um, English. What, are so you from around here? Yes, brother. Mate, I'm doing a video on Alan Rock. How, how is life here? I'm not from here, I'm oh. from Sully Hill. Oh, you're from where, sorry? Sully Hill. Sully Hill? Sully Hill? Yeah. Okay, okay, life in Birmingham in general. Is it Good. nice? Good, peaceful, yeah? yeah. People mix together very really well? Yeah. Because I heard on the news about no-go zones, no. and I heard that this is one of the places, so no, I come to not, see it. No, it's nothing like that. No, so nothing. people get on well? Yeah. Nice. Where are you originally from? I'm from India, Hyderabad. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. I've yeah. just come back from India. Is it? From its place? Uh, cultural, uh, cultural shock. <laughs> I haven't heard. I was all over. I was in Mumbai and oh, Delhi really? and okay, yeah, it's a okay. good place. How's India then? Tough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I liked it. <laughs> but how do you find England? It's good. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Nice. Are you going to stay for a long time? Uh, not a long time. No? Maybe a couple of years. Make your money, go home. No, uh, I got a uh, work visa here. So my project will finish in a couple of years. Once nice. project is finished, we'll move back. Nice. All the best. Good luck, man. Cheers, all the best. Take, take care. Feels like everyone I speak to is not from here, so it's hard to get a proper opinion of the place. How are we doing, mate? All right. How are we doing, boss? All right. Great. I'm doing a video on life in Birmingham, and I just want to ask Alan Rock. I've been told this is one of the no-go zones. What's it really like? <laughs> okay. No worries, mate. No worries. Yeah, having a hard time <laughs> getting conversation out of people. Hey. Yeah. So you you said you come from your Romania, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So at this place, I've got a reputation of being like a no-go zone area for people. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> it's a very bad area. <laughs> it's a bad area? <laughs> why? Why? Oh, yeah. Too much drugs. Too much drugs? So much, too oh, much. Too much. Oh, oh, you, the... you now you do the video. Sorry? The video now. Yeah, for him. Yeah. It's all the street, all the, if you go like this, take now right or left and go 20 metres. It's coming one people, they say, you want something? What, down here, yeah? Uh, yeah, the hill, down, no, if you go bad, like bad, this, bad, all the people, it's uh, on the street. It's very bad, uh, guys. Okay. Uh, no problem, I am, hello, my name is Ionel, I am from Romania, but I I come here in the UK uh, for working, for a uh, new life, for a uh, new future, for my kids, and uh, uh, come, and uh, here uh, is very good place in the Alum Road, but uh, sometime, uh, uh, after uh, 7 p.m., uh, 8 p.m., uh, maybe he Somebody gets dark. Maybe he needs to stay home okay. and uh, take yeah, it. Okay. Has England been welcoming to you yeah. since you arrived? Uh, it's been good to you? Mm, for me now, but maybe for my kids in the future, yeah. 
Do you ever intend to go back to Romania or just want to uh, stay here forever? Maybe, maybe, but no, now. You need to work. Uh, yeah. When I was 16, 70 years old, me and my wife. Go retire. Yeah, and the kids, what do you want? Stay, he stay. Nice one, mate. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Talk to me. All the best. Like in. Uh, and I'm rock. And I'm rock. I'm Birmingham in general. What's it like? Not the best, mate. It's not the best, why? It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Home is home, you know what I mean? Yeah, but people get on with each other. I heard it was a no-go zone, so I was a bit worried nah, coming nah, up nah, here. No, 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 no. People have wrong the conception of Adam Rock. It's not as bad as people make it out. But You've got loads be... of traffic behind you, mate, sorry. <laughs> there'll be bad stuff everywhere you go. Yeah, of course, mate. All the best. Yeah, mate. Enjoy Adam Rock. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame he was in the car. But yeah, it was pretty difficult to get conversation from people, but everyone I spoke to seemed real friendly, seemed happy to see me. There was just people who struggled with either English or whatnot. But speaking to the Romanian guy, for example, he was just coming over here to improve his life for him and his children, which is one of the beautiful things about this country. It doesn't feel very English though. That is one thing I will say. And I don't know if that's a, it does feel like a criticism. It is a criticism at the end of the day. This is England and it didn't feel like it. There's certainly more Palestinian and foreign flags than any Union Jacks or St. George's crosses. Right, now we're gonna leave here and we're gonna head into some of the most notorious estates in the city. We're gonna to head to a place called Aston and then another place called Lazelle. And these estates are meant to be run by gangs. <sighs> bit, uh, bit scary, but we'll go see what they're like. So I just spoke to a guy and he told me this area is pretty quiet but if I head along this road straight down here I'll head up into a place called Lazelle and he said over there it'll get a little bit rougher and not to go too deep he said you don't want to get touched up just for a YouTube video but we're gonna go see what it's really like the worst thing about this place is it's a dumping ground by the looks of it So we're still heading to Lazelle, but I'm gonna walk around a couple of the estates whilst we're here just to take a look at what they're actually like. I'm not sure if this counts as Lazelle's or if it's Aston's, but it's horrible. The state of it. And scenes like this are only gonna get worse in Birmingham because their city council has gone bankrupt and they're the ones who deal with the rubbish removal and collecting people's bins. So all this stuff, this is the beginning of how shit it's gonna look. Give it another two or three years. Can't imagine. Mate, are you from this hell? Are you from this region? Are you from this area? Mate, I'm making a video on life in Birmingham. Lazelle, Aston, some other places. Have you heard, obviously, people saying it's a no-go no -go zone in lots of parts of Birmingham? What is this place actually like? It's a lot better than years ago. A lot better than years ago? Is it? Yeah, so what's it actually like here now? Like, it looks, like everywhere I go, it's like shit all with booze and... What's happened? It's a good zone, there's people in there. If you have a walk up Lazelle's Road, that's the worst. Lazelle's Road? I'm going to go there now. What? Well, in senses of uh, like crime and the no-go zone stuff, is that bollocks or is it? Is there something that's, to it? Right, yeah, it's yeah, something to it. Oh, that's been years. Really? So people are really hesitant to speak on camera, but I've been told by four people now that the no-go zone thing is legit. It's real. The state of this place. It's an absolute shithole. And they said it's been like that for years. But yeah, at least four people have told me now. But the no-go zones, they're legit. You like the name? I like the flag. <laughs> the flag. It's the only one I've seen the whole time I've been in Birmingham. 
it's all Palestine, Egypt, South Africa, Sudan, but this is the first uh, Britain oh, flag. This guy should be loved this, this flag, you know? Yeah. I would, I would hope people would love it. I w and you, where are you from? Afghanistan. Afghanistan, okay. How has England been for you? Good. You like it? Yeah. Nobody likes you, it doesn't, it doesn't stay here. <laughs> how I feel too, mate, how I feel too. Saying. Yeah, yeah. These bastard people, you know, should say bullshit, you know, why you stay here then? Yeah. Do you plan to stay in England forever? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, very nice. Until okay, thank you very much. If he doesn't much. like it, should be doesn't live here, you know that? Yeah, I agree with you, I agree with you. It's a free, nice country. The stay in this bit, yeah. What an absolute dump. Now that guy raises a pretty good point before. When he said, if you don't like the country, then you should leave. He's exactly right. And I know we're told that diversity is our strength and there's lots of things to like about it. You get birds from all over the world living around the corner. You get some good food. You get to meet people with different opinions and views of the world. You get to learn. But that's all well and good in times of prosperity and when things are going well. But in a time of war and a time of conflict, is it really a strength to have people with all different persuasions amongst each other, living so closely knit and tightly bound with each other? We haven't really been tested so far in the UK since we've become a multicultural country. But the world is changing. And as we can see with what's going on in Palestine and Israel, the government seems to be taking one side, the people taking another. I do wonder if a major conflict was to be declared, if something was to happen, how would we deal with that internally in this nation? It would be a major, major problem. At the beginning of the World War I, there were plenty of Germans living in this country and the British government had to either send them home to Germany or put them in prison until the end of the war. Can you imagine trying to do that now? We've got copper. Oh, you need to know. Yeah, you do. Do I? <laughs> you're white. I'm going to take you that as handsome. Drugs. Oh, I'm white. No, you're handsome for a white guy. Thank you very much. I'm going to say that. For a white guy. Are you, are you British or Irish? I'm British. So this is, this is a good question, actually. What about you? My mum is Irish Italian. Yeah. And my dad is Jamaican and I'm Chinese. Okay, so are you born here? Yeah. Are you British? I'm British. Yeah, I'm born British. British born. What do you think it means? I think I'm born here and I should have rights. I don't take advantage of them. I've worked since I was 16. It's my birthday and I'm still drunk. Oh, happy birthday. Do you want me to get you? Have you got a drink? No. I'll get you one. Yeah. yeah. No. All right. All right. Yeah. This, no, you can't. They're going to try and take the piece. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Don't, don't be like the geese that did not pick it. Yeah, but I'm talking to you. No, 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 turn it off. I'm not filming you. I'm not filming you. I don't give a shit. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. I want. He said, I don't want you to film. I know. Move the camera, bro. I'm not filming you. Bro, move the camera, bro. Yeah, the this is Lozawa, you want to know Lozawa? Okay, so this, this is, is what Lozawa was like. Alright, yeah. Alright, just, yeah, please walk. But yeah, so this I'm just Lozawa. trying to find out what, what life is like. I've been told this is one of the, like, the no-go zone areas. It, it, hello, you've been here, it's been, we're just very... We're worried? Us. Why? What do you mean, why? No, go on, tell me. We're I'm... very us. There's us, and there's them. Who's them? Oh. And there's police. So the communities are quite divided? But when it comes to enough white people not being really Yeah. Yeah, no, we're very stuck together. Oh my god, they're gonna think I'm a grass neighbor. Yeah, no, no. So when you say it's divided, it's white people and everyone else or it's No, white, God no. Look, we're all mixing up. Areas just become a little bit divided. Yeah. Like it's more Muslim than you know, but this is Ben, so we're nice. Yeah. We're nice people really. So I've come off the main street now and I'm going to walk into a couple more of the estates here as I make my way into the city centre. So it does appear that everyone I've spoke to here since I got in Birmingham agrees that there are no go zones. There are differences in between the areas between where the Afro-Caribbeans live, where the Asians live, where the white people live. Look at this place. Most people have been fairly friendly apart from that one idiot before but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to walk down into the city centre now. Wow, it's just everywhere you walk. Everywhere. Holy f Look at this. Right, 
like this estate feels a bit sketchy and because I've already been accused of being a fed a few times I'm going to keep the camera a little bit discreet No, I feel bad This area is not that bad but I feel bad calling the other places that I've been to a shithole, you know, it's people's homes. But i just got to say it as I see it. At the end of the day, this is my homeland too. And if I think it looks like a shithole, I have to say it. How else are things going to change if we're not honest about it? So I'm making my way back to my hotel, but I've just come along the canal side because Birmingham is the most central part of the country and there is no rivers that feed into it but this canal system which was made to the before the industrial revolution is what made it possible for this place to become as rich as it did but now as you walk down there alongside the canal it feels like it's a dying city in the dying country of a dead empire So it's day two of our exploration of Birmingham and its no-go zones and high crime estates. The next place that we're going to is a place called Winston Green and this was the place where the first series of Benefit Street in the UK was and it was a series that chronicled the lives of people living on benefits basically in perpetuity. Right from here we're going to head out past the prison which is here, I think it's a maximum security, one of the biggest in the country and then we're going to head into the estate now I haven't really done much research other than the fact that I know that it was the first series of Benefit Street and I read a few headlines about saying that there's open drug use and it's one of the most deprived areas in the city. So this is the street that they filmed that series on and just behind me you can probably still hear them playing it's kids in a school in a primary school and as they come out of school every day the first thing they're going to see like this what sort of example are we setting what sort of standards are we setting for the kids of this country look at the state of it neighborhood watch area as well Look at this. Back of people's gardens. This is a complete embarrassment. Look at the state of this. I can't imagine what this smells like in the summer. So, Winston Green, bit of a dump, but there was no drug use, there was no trouble. It is early in the day though, and this next place I'm going to, I was trying to avoid because other people have been here and done videos, but I've just drove through it, and in all honesty, I can see why people have been coming here to do the videos, because it must be the roughest looking street I've been to in England. We're heading now to the infamous Soho Road. What an absolute... <sighs> yeah, when I say this place is rough, it is rough. On every corner, there's groups of guys selling, women work in the street oh yeah <laughs> this is next level genuinely concerned about walking about with a camera are you going to be on your own yeah i'm on my no, own no, no 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 bro I'm telling you right now don't do it no please you've just helped me now i'm helping you don't <laughs> no i'm helping you yeah listen to my word you might be alright for the first little bit but then you will have someone following you you won't realise yeah. because they don't know you they'll think you're fed
some people in that doorway were out in the open setting up some rocks onto a pipe this street is like nothing else i've seen in the uk wow eye-opening really eye-opening right okay so i'm going to be a little bit discreet in the car because i just want to show this off so people so you just understand that i'm not bullshitting. there is people on corners openly doing crack openly selling it it's an absolute wild street it's way too risky to be walking around with a camera out in the daylight especially gopro it's so obvious but whew, i'm like that's over my eyes to how much this place whew, i don't even know what to say i'm i'm pretty gobsmacked by how rough this place is i'd heard about it i'd seen a couple of videos but i just can't explain <laughs> how bad this place is yeah there they are look And then on that corner there, you've got a load of lads dealing and selling. Wow, this place is a madness. So that's it then, the end of our Birmingham adventure, part one. Does the city have no go zones? In all honesty, yeah, it probably does. But it also depends on what you mean. If you mean by no-go zone, you don't want to go to areas where there's groups of men selling drugs and looking pretty intimidating on street corners, prostitutes selling themselves in the middle of the day, then yeah, there's no-go zones. If you mean whole areas where everybody is of a different race and religion to you and it can feel quite intimidating walking through there, then yeah, there's no-go zones. Are people actively patrolling to keep other people from races and religions? I'm not sure. Are there disputes between gangs of, say, South Asian and white and Afro-Caribbean people? Eh, quite, quite possibly. I don't know. I haven't been able to get into the, the depths of that. One thing for sure, though, is that large parts of Birmingham do not feel British. And when I say British, I mean proud, world-leading. A lot of this city is embarrassing.